All right, man, we started uh, hearing rumors about playing mall. Apparently, the, the post that was going around about July 13th was fake in, in Dallas, but I also seen a post just like that where I thought it was fake. And um, it turned out there's some validity to it that um, Jamal Charlo is, I mean, uh, David Morales is going to be fighting uh, Andrade. So there's some rumors going around saying that post is super duper true. So um, so I don't know if Plant and Char Jamal Charlo is fighting next. But like I said, I did a video the other day that said that they were basically, um, excuse my language, excuse me, they were uh, planting, uh, you know, the plant was uh, Jamal Charlo is going to get stripped of his WBC title. Okay. So, yeah, I heard, uh, yeah, I've been I heard that rumor. I asked around. You know, some people said they hadn't heard it, um, but it sounds like they already know who could be stepping up, taking on the fight next, too. So, uh, so apparently that that rumor might have some validity to it, as far as uh, um, you know, as far as uh, you know, if they strip and Charlo, that means that he moving up, and to get the more to get the four one one on it, just go check out, just put Jamal WC strip or my channel name in there, and you should be able to find it. But uh, apparently they talk about Jamal and Plant could be fighting next, which. You know, may make some sense. Uh, July thirteenth, it could. You know, apparently they were saying that the post, uh, the post was uh, was faking all that stuff. So I don't really know um, if it was. It wasn't, but it, it makes a lot of sense for them to go ahead and just fight each other. You know, what I'm saying they should have fought each other sooner than that. Not just, you know, was saying that. Um, you know, if they're they're going to fight. Um, you know, there's there, there's some momentum that's that's going around for them to go ahead and fight. There's a bunch of momentum in that fight. You know, some people were seeing that Charlo was training and Charlo was looking, you know, not like himself, um, and he wasn't. You know, his brother did such a bad performance versus Jamal Charlo that nobody wanted to see him perform against Jamal Charlo again. I mean, uh, Canelo Alvarez, brother did so, Jamel did so bad versus Canelo. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, this is naturally, you know, should where he be at. I think he made, what, 160, whatever it was, versus David, Dave, Dave, uh, Jose Benavidez. He made that weight uh, so he can make 160 pounds. And I just feel that, you know, he should be more active, to be honest. But at the end of the day, it's a good fight. I mean, if they did do it in Dallas, it will make a lot of sense. I don't think Caleb Plant care if it was or wasn't in Dallas to him, to, uh, for for him. I don't think he really cared for either war. So he made 160. He was 166 and a half pounds for the Benavidez fight. So I mean, he can make 168. I don't think he can make 160 no more. So I don't really understand why they holding up the title. But you know what? That's the story for a different day. Um, but I'll just continue to really question. You know. Um, you know, the inactivity of these fighters and the discipline they're going to have during the inactivity, who really going to go to the gym and stay active in the gym, you know what I'm saying, like they should, you know. So, um, you know, but, uh, you know, So, but I mean, it's a naturally fight, but you would like to see Charlo get a little bit more busy and a couple fights under his notch, but um, I don't really see that happening. Uh, so with the limited dates, you know, when you got people talking about, well, a new TV deal is coming. Anybody that know, you know, that know a little bit about business already know that no TV deal is about to, nobody in TV is about to come in and, uh, and uh and say and say and work with pbc we know that nobody nobody is about to come in and work with pbc all these fights that they putting on including this one is, is a second rate fight it's a second rate fight you know it's a second rate fight you know, this this fight would have been a good fight before Charlo took all that time off, but he took the time off. 
you know, he took the time off. So, here, you know, this is where he at, you know. I think Charlo, I mean, Caleb Plant, if this fight should win the fight, I think Charlo career is over with. It's hard to, you know, when you after 30 to recapture that flame and get those fast twitch muscles back. That's That's very, very hard. That's very very tough to do. That's a very tough. Uh, that's a, that's a very tough pill to swallow. And then when you when you you know take the fight off and you ain't right back in the gym, and you, or you ain't right got another fight date right back there, you know right after it, and you can't be as active as possible for him to even recapture that recapture that momentum that he lost, you know just from a physical standpoint of view, um, he need to be fighting six times this year. You know what I'm saying? Six times this year. He should live in the gym. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of the alleged drinking and drug use that fans, I'm not saying he got drinking and drug use. I said alleged. That fans think he got, unless he punks drunk, yeah, it's, it's an uphill battle, bro. It, it's a real uphill battle. He should be on every fight card that he can be at local shows. Everything. He should be on everything that he could be on, bro. And that's just the God honest truth. You know, anything and everything that they happen ha that's happening, um, he should be in the mix for that. But you know, if this is a fight that happened and got momentum because of the slap, I mean, Caleb Plant been out the, I think been out the ring. Long, I mean, for over a year, coming up on a year now, coming up a year in a couple weeks. He last fought a, he last fought old buddy. David Benavidez was his last fight, right? Yep, March 25th, so it'd be a whole year. And, and people try to say this is a great era in boxing, and I don't see what's wrong in this era in boxing. It's fucking hilarious. You got fighters fighting once a year. You know, you got literally, you got fighters fighting once a year. Once a year. How are these, how are these guys going to get, get better? Especially as they get into their 30s. Less activity, you know what I'm saying, is, 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 is not the remedy. More activity as you get older needs to be the remedy. Because most of these dudes don't even know how to preserve, preserve their bodies. In between fights, they don't even know how to preserve their bodies. You know, so, you know, once we kind of, once we kind of look at it, it's just to the point where, you know. Um, it ain't looking too good and we may never see, you know, Jamal Charlo again. Especially if he gets stopped by Jamal Charlo, Caleb Plant, you got slapped in, it's happened. You know, he's the bigger, stronger guy. He should be the bigger, stronger guy on fight night. He should be. But we really never seen him take that step up and, and get that big fight. Didn't get the Munguia fight. Didn't get the Canelo fight. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of fights is going to pass him by that he didn't even get the opportunity to participate in. That he should have participated in. So, you know, it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. You know, it's really unfortunate. So, uh, but, um, but if they get it, I think people will watch it still, you know, with the slap and people will see what want to happen in the press conferences and, and all that other type of stuff. So, um, you know, I think people will be very, very intrigued still, um, by the matchup, but, you know, in my humble opinion, I just feel that, uh, you know, 
This this, this can be the, depending on how he lose to Caleb Plant, he get knocked out like the rail. It's over with. He can never come back to that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. He might be charged to, uh joining Triple G. Um he might have to be joining Triple G on uh he might be joining Triple G on the sideline. So um but yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance. Uh, get uh, notifications. We go live or drop video. Hit that bell icon button for show for show. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, the whole nine, uh, Amazon Music. Want to donate? Cash App, Venmo, CJ Good three one three. PayPal link is in the description and the link tree. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know. Stink in the comment section. Peace.